What's up, Weekend Warriors? I'm research analyst Nick Antonucci with Henzer Financial, here to help you put some extra bang in your buck on another edition of Casual Finance Friday. On this edition of Casual Finance Friday, we'll be discussing ESG investing. Okay, well what is it? Simply put, it's a kind of thematic investing. Now thematic investing is nothing new to the investment world. This type of investing refers to a top-down investment approach that focuses on some specific macroeconomic themes that a manager can use to identify companies with a strong focus on sustainability. ESG investing, also referred to as sustainable investing or socially responsible investing, or a number of other synonyms, refers to an investment style rooted in environmental, social, and governance factors. And while financials play a significant role still, these ESG factors haven't necessarily been the focus of investing in the past. So let's dig into the three letters of ESG and determine what factors might be included. First, there's the E. The E component of ESG investing stands for environmental. Companies who are environmentally conscious will consider issues such as carbon emissions, climate change, pollution, renewable energy, hazardous waste disposal and cleanup, and resource depletion as it pertains to their business. Next, there's the S, which stands for social. Social issues a company might consider include animal welfare, diversity both at the employee and the board levels, living wage disputes, community relations, sexual harassment, and political risk of involvement in troubled markets. Last but certainly not least, there's G, which represents governance. Companies who make an effort to have strong corporate governance might have policies in place regarding share owner rights, say on pay, majority voting, executive compensation, and staggered boards. Okay, now that you know what ESG is and the factors it considers, how can you determine a company's ESG score and who are some of the ESG standouts? Now there are plenty of services available which provide company ESG scores like Bloomberg, Thomson Reuters, and MSCI, just to name a few. And each service will score a company differently based on their own proprietary method applied to our previously discussed factors. The problem with these is that a lot of them come with a cost. Now, sites such as Yahoo Finance provide sustainability scores for stocks at no cost. This allows the average investor to do their own ESG research on just about any company. Think of Starbucks as a company who puts a significant focus on sustainability. 100% of the company's coffee is sustainably sourced. They've committed to train 200,000 coffee farmers by 2020 and agreed to provide 100 million coffee trees to farmers by 2025. Additionally, they invest 100% in renewable energy to power operations globally and will double recycling by 2022. So this idea of sustainable investing sounds great and all and makes you feel all good and smiley, right? But here's the big question. Does ESG investing actually add value? While you can't simply say that by putting the constraint of ESG investing on a portfolio, it'll increase the return. What you can say is that based on numerous studies, not having ESG factors in your portfolio can increase volatility, can lower potential sharp ratios, and can lead to a higher probability of suffering larger drawdowns during times of market stress. Fundamentals are still key when investing. However, when you couple that with the consideration of ESG factors, some studies show merit. In a 2015 study performed by MSCI, it was found that over the last eight years, overweighting stocks with higher ESG scores or overweighting stocks that had simply improved their ESG scores in a portfolio both led to outperformance while also improving the ESG profile of those portfolios. Another 2017 study from Nordia Equity Research found solid evidence that ESG matters both for operational and share price performance. Additionally, it found that the relative performance of the top versus the bottom ESG performers amounted to as much as 40% between 2012 and 2015. So if you're convinced and are ready to dive into a little ESG and investing yourself, there are plenty of available products to do so, from ETFs and mutual funds to separately managed accounts. If you're interested, feel free to reach out to your associate and ask the ways you can begin investing sustainably. My name is Nick Antonucci, research analyst at Hensler Financial, signing off on a very casual finance Friday. Thanks for watching.